On our last learning adventure, we met Spencer Spoonbill, who was looking for his mama. Let's continue our search at this giant egg playground and learn about eggs for preschoolers. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Cubs. I'm Mr. Albie. We flew in this helicopter searching for Spencer the Spoonbill's mama. Whoa, where have we landed? Wah! Look where we've landed! At this giant egg playground. We'll search for Spencer's mama right here. There's all kinds of different eggs and birds nests here, so maybe she's around. Let's go up this ladder and search in there. Come with me. Oh, we're high up. Ah! Baby bird chicks come from eggs just like this. And mama birds lay these eggs, sometimes this size, or really a lot smaller, so that these baby chicks can stay in there for a certain amount of time. Mama birds can lay baby bird eggs from one egg up to 17 eggs at a time. Wowza! Bird eggs can come in different colors, just like this one. You usually see white bird eggs, but eggs can come in all sorts of colors, like brown, pink, and even blue. They can also come with spots and blotches. Now if you look at this giant egg, it's got a number of blotches on it. Oh, oh no, but Spencer's mum is not in there. Mm. Now, when you look at baby bird eggs, they need to be hard enough so that they can protect the baby bird, but they need to be soft enough as well so that the baby bird, like Spencer, can hatch out of it. Ah! All birds actually evolved from dinosaurs, especially theropods, just like the T-Rex. So the T-Rex and other theropod dinosaurs, the ones that walked on two legs, they actually laid eggs, really big eggs, just like the one over there and the ones around us. But maybe they weren't that big. Oh, so Spencer is actually a descendant of the dinosaurs? Wowza! Have a look at this giant egg over there. Is Mama Spoonbill in there? Let's climb in to find out. Wowza! Have a look at the insides of this giant egg. Oh. Now, bird eggs come in different sizes. You can have really big ones like this, or maybe not as big as this. You can also have very little ones depending on the size of the baby bird. Now, of course, smaller birds will have smaller eggs like hummingbirds. Bigger birds like owls will have a lot bigger ones and dinosaurs will have even humongous ones. Oh, let's get out of this giant egg. And how do baby birds usually get out? They have to push and peck their way out using their beaks and all their strength. And it can take up to 12 to eight, 18 hours for baby birds to get out of their eggs. And when they do, ah, ta-da, they come out into the real world. Hello world! Bird's nest can be way up high, just like this real bird's nest that was made way up high in the sky. So we can climb up to reach up and see those nests. But mama birds don't need to climb, they can fly up. Whoa, we're way up high and sometimes birds nests look just like this. They're a mishmash of twigs and 
leaves and moss, different things all crisscrossing together to stay together up in the tree. Let's go down this red slide. Three, two, one. Whee! Ah! Tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah, birds away. Let's climb over here on top of these tree trunks. And I bet you're wondering, why do many birds build their nests on trees like the ones you see over there? Now the reason is so that they can build a safe home. The nests are like homes and they can protect them from other predators, other animals that would want to eat them. So it's important to have a safe nest up high. Come with me and let's cross the bridge. Yeah, we've arrived at this pile of giant twigs. Oh. Now, this giant pile of twigs actually reminds me of cup nests that birds can make high up in trees. And those nests are usually made of twigs like these or a lot smaller. They're also made of grass, moss and leaves and anything that a bird beak can find to help it build its home up in the tree. These sure are some strong twigs which are great for a, a nest. But did you know that not all birds build their nests up on trees? Some birds build nests in the water, like coots. And swans build their nests in water too. Oh, look at this baby swan. Some birds even lay their eggs on cliffs. Whoa, just like this one. So you need to climb up to go and have a look at those kinds of eggs. Now, those kinds of birds like storks. And puffins, like these cute puffins over here. They lay their eggs, oh, like this one, on cliffs so that they can hide their eggs far away from foxes and rats so that they can't reach them. Oh, it's a lot safer here, but is Spencer's mama around here too? Let's check, check it out. No, not here. Steep hills are also great to slide down. Oh, hold on tight, Spencer! <laughs> oh, caperific. Some mama birds don't lay their eggs up in the sky, they build the nest down low into the ground. Check out this goose making a nest for her eggs. Carberific. Cubs, look over here. I've discovered a big bird's egg right here. And what color is it? Oh, it's pink bright pink with yellow spots and red love hearts or maybe mama mama spoonbill's right in there let's check it out come inside oh no she's not in here but many mama birds actually make scrape nests in the ground they just scrape the ground and put some rocks around it or leaves like this and they put their eggs in there but no Mama, Spoonbill's not here. Mm. Oh, the main kinds of birds that do these kinds of scrape nests include 
emus and ostriches, they make scrape nests by scraping the ground, then putting some rocks or leaves around it, then putting their eggs like this one right there. Oh. And even kiwi birds, little kiwi birds, they burrow right into the ground and put their nests right in there to protect their babies. But Spencer's mama spoonbill, she's not here. Some birds also lay their eggs on nests in sand. They make their scrape nests by scraping the sand and then adding seashells around it. And they put their eggs in those scrape nests just like seagulls and shorebirds. Let's look for Mama Spoonbill. Is she here? Around this nest? Oh no, Mama Spoonbill! Oh no, Spencer's mama's not here. Let's go looking for some eggs in the sand. Oh, there's none here. Over here, oh, right here. I think I found something. We've got to scrape around it to see what it is. Wowza, it's actually an egg. Maybe from a shorebird or seagull. Oh, we gotta leave it there to keep it protected. I'm sure it's mama's gonna wanna keep it hidden. Let's get out of here. We looked and looked around different birds eggs and nests and we couldn't find Spencer's mama. He sure must be a rare and unique bird. We'll keep searching. Until next time, Cubs away. <laughs>